Adaba, an ancient figure from Sumerian mythology, is more than a mere protagonist of a myth. He emerges as a harbinger of human destiny. His story, woven through the verses of the Adapa myth, provides insights into how early Mesopotamian culture understood the limits and fate of humanity. By examining the details of the myth, one can argue that Adapa's tale is a symbolic meditation on human boundaries, limitations, and the perpetual struggle with the desire for immortality and knowledge, a fate shared by all humanity. Adapa was crafted by Ea, the Sumerian god of wisdom, to serve as the ideal human. He was endowed with exceptional wisdom, strength, and purity, which he utilized in his dedicated service to Ea. However, despite these divine gifts, Adapa was intentionally deprived of immortality by his creator. His story unfolds against the background of a world in which human life is inherently finite an important theme in Sumerian cosmology. As a representation of the first man, or perhaps as a symbol of humanity as a whole, Adapa's creation with profound knowledge but limited lifespan mirrors humanity's condition, able to question, learn, and improve, but ultimately unable to escape the limits of mortal life. The myth presents Adapa as a servant to the gods, specifically to Ea, to whom he provides fish and food from the sea. Adapa's role in this context suggests that humanity's purpose is to serve the divine order, emphasizing a relationship marked by duty and sacrifice rather than divine equality. This arrangement suggests a view of human life not as autonomous, but as deeply dependent on and constrained by divine will. Unlike the gods who enjoy immortality and freedom, Adapa and, by extension, humanity are portrayed as limited beings, bound to serve without the hope of transcending their mortal state. The key event in Adapa's myth that foreshadows humanity's fate is his encounter with the gods in the heavens. Following a transgression that results from his attempt to control his environment, when the south wind capsizes his boat, Adapa, in anger, breaks its wing, preventing it from blowing for seven days. In response, Adapa is summoned by Anu, the supreme god, to account for his actions. Before he goes, however, Ea provides him with instructions. Adapa is warned not to partake of the food and water that he will be offered in heaven, which Ea claims will lead to his death. Unbeknownst to Adapa, Ea's advice is misleading. The food and water Anu intends to offer are, in fact, food and water of life that would have granted Adapa immortality. When Adapa obeys Ea and refuses the divine sustenance, he loses his only chance at eternal life. Adapa's rejection of immortality thus becomes a pivotal moment in the myth and a symbolic prophecy for humanity's inevitable mortality. This choice, whether Adapa's or more truly Ea's, illustrates humanity's lack of control over its own destiny. Dependent on divine whim and bound by a cosmic order that denies humans a place among the immortals. The irony of this moment in Adapa's story speaks to a profound insight about human existence in Sumerian thought. Humanity, even in its wisest form, is fundamentally restricted by the decisions and actions of those considered to be gods. The gods' motives remain inscrutable, and even the wisest humans are kept in ignorance of their true fate. Adapa's obedience to Ea, whom he trusts, is rewarded not with life, but with loss. This fatal irony reflects the precarious nature of human knowledge and suggests that humanity's fate, bound to mortality, results not from human failure, but from the very design of those perceived to be gods. The wisdom granted to Adapa by Ea is another crucial element that reflects the fate of humanity. Adapa's knowledge is described as great but also bounded, limited to what is necessary for him to serve the gods. The story of Adapa can be seen as a commentary on the human condition. While humans may strive for knowledge, there are inherent limits imposed by the divine order. 
This notion resonates with humanity's perpetual search for wisdom and control, yet never fully transcending the boundary of mortality. Adapa's knowledge does not encompass all aspects of existence. Specifically, it does not include knowledge of immortality or the true nature of divine intentions. In this respect, Adapa's wisdom mirrors humanity's experience. While we possess the ability to innovate, reason, and understand the world, ultimate truths, especially regarding life, death, and eternity, remain elusive. His myth hints that humanity's intellect, though powerful, cannot penetrate the mysteries of life and death. It serves to fulfill specific purposes, but stops short of providing access to eternal life. Adapa's encounter with Anu not only underscores his mortality, but also suggests a prophetic outlook on the fate of humanity. Adapa's denial of immortality appears to be a foreshadowing, an assertion that humanity, despite its best efforts, will remain mortal and separated from the gods. This separation is reinforced symbolically by the gates of heaven, which Adapa visits briefly but cannot inhabit. He is allowed a glimpse of the divine realm, but only enough to understand that he does not belong there. The Sumerian view of humanity, as expressed through Badapa's story, posits that mortality is not merely an accident, but a defining characteristic of human existence. Adapa's myth proposes that this condition is ordained and upheld by the gods, who intentionally maintain a boundary between the human and divine realms. This boundary is physical, as Adapa is sent back to earth, but also existential rooted in the very nature of human life as designed by those perceived to be gods. This theme is further emphasized in the conclusion of Adapa's story, where he is dismissed by Anu with laughter. The gods recognize Adapa's plight and see the irony of his loss, but they ultimately reinforce the distance between him and themselves. In this dismissal, we see a profound commentary on the human struggle with mortality, highlighting that while humans may long for eternity and divine wisdom, such aspirations are ultimately frustrated and limited by the invisible intelligence set over Earth's cosmic order. The Adapa myth serves as more than an ancient tale of a wise man's lost opportunity. It functions as a reflection on humanity's condition, a meditation on the inherent limits of human life, and a prophetic look at the future of mankind's unending struggle with mortality and cosmic boundaries. Adapa's journey reflects a cyclical human experience. Each generation seeks knowledge and attempts to overcome its mortal limitations. Yet every attempt ends in the same reality. Humans are mortal beings, separated from eternity through life's invisible intelligence by design. Adapa's myth thus can be viewed as a prediction of humanity's fate, an assertion that human life will forever be marked by the desire for transcendence, but also by the impossibility of achieving it. His story suggests that humanity, like Adapa, will strive toward what is thought to be divine, seeking wisdom, knowledge, and eternal life, only to encounter the inevitable truth of its own limitations. This recurring theme in Sumerian and later Mesopotamian mythology underscores the fatalistic view that humanity's place in the cosmos is fixed, and any attempt to alter it will be met with failure. In essence, Adapa's myth is a reflection of humanity's eternal struggle with the boundaries of existence. The myth not only recounts the experiences of a single figure, but provides a lasting prophecy for the human race, suggesting that the future of humanity is bound by the same limitations and conditions that Adapa faced. Wisdom for humanity will always be accompanied by a lack of total understanding. And while humans may attempt to defy the constraints of mortality, they will always be brought back to Earth, limited by the design of Earth's realm. The fate of humanity, as foreshadowed in Adapa's tale, is thus one of continual striving and searching within set boundaries. Through Adapa, Sumerian mythology encapsulates the universal human experience, 
revealing that while humanity may think to brush against what is believed to be divine, true and unadulterated immortality and knowledge will forever remain out of reach. In this way, Adapa's story is not merely a myth of ancient Sumer, it is a timeless narrative that continues to resonate, capturing the fundamental, unchangeable aspects of human destiny.